Hello everyone, sono con il Pongo, sono con Sunao, avete adorato Sunao nell'ultimo video, quindi è ritornato ospite in questo canale e questa volta parleremo di beauty standards, gli italiani e forse quelli giapponesi, vediamo quello che dice Sunao, hai capito? I'm back guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. I of course don't know who the most famous Italian beauties are, I, like I don't know. But I looked online, there was a chart, so I selected some pictures for you. Not all of them are actually Italian Italian, but they're like what Italians like. Okay. I'd like you to give us your opinion. It's but also always like... pleasure to see beautiful women. Men are always the same. <laughs> Every single part of the world. Yeah. But also like what Japanese people think or consider beautiful. Because I think yeah, like okay. in Japan, beauty standards are a little different. Yeah, a little, yeah. Very different. No, they are different. <laughs> they are different. All right, let's start with the first one. Chiara Ferragni. Ooh. Chiara Ferragni. She's one of the most famous influencers in Italy. Okay. What would a Japanese person think about her? She looks beautiful. She's gorgeous. <laughs> she looks like a model. Mm. She's actually a fashion influencer. I think a lot of Japanese men like her. Yeah, she got nice shape. <laughs> All right, actually, in Italy, she's often criticized for being too skinny. I mean, that's what people say, right? I'm not saying she's too skinny. She's comfortable, <laughs> she's comfortable. Yeah, I don't know how tall she is, but if she's 160 to 170, and if she is like this shape, vi rubo un minuto per parlarvi dello sponsor di oggi, Cambly. È luglio, si va in vacanza, si viaggia, l'inglese serve. Per fare pratica con insegnanti madrelingua disponibili 7 giorni su 7, 365 giorni l'anno, c'è Cambly che con questo mese, con il mio codice sconto che è Sony Candy 7, perché è luglio, avrete il 50% di sconto su tutti i piani annuali, sia per le lezioni individuali che per quelle di gruppo. Quelle di gruppo sono gruppi piccoli, massimo sono tre studenti e un insegnante madrelingua, quindi c'è possibilità di parlare molto e anche di di fare conversazione con persone che vengono da tutte le parti del mondo. In più, sempre con il mio codice sconto avrete il diritto a 15 minuti di lezione di prova gratuita, quindi provatelo perché tanto non c'è niente da perdere. In più, da questo mese c'è una novità, una novità molto interessante. È disponibile infatti Chem AI, che è l'intelligenza artificiale che ti permette di fare pratica parlando con un'intelligenza artificiale che però ti risponde come se fosse un tutor e ti prepara alla tua prima lezione. Diciamo che è perfetto perché Chem AI è innanzitutto gratuito, in più ti scioglie ed è è perfetto per quelli che magari sono un po' più timidi e si preoccupano prima di fare la lezione di inglese perché ragazzi anch'io sono un insegnante e, e an anzi anch'io sono una studentessa e la capisco bene quel mm, po' mi vergogno su Cambly ci sono vari percorsi disponibili potete prepararvi per un inglese per un viaggio ma anche per un inglese di lavoro anche per un colloquio anche per un test all'università quindi check it out il link è qui sotto in più i prezzi se paragonati a una scuola di lingua tradizionale diciamo che sono molto molto competitivi sono imbattibili poi soprattutto con il mio codice sconto piani annuali avrete 50% di sconto continuiamo con il video do you feel like sometimes in Japan people like very petite girls yes especially in the states you know they have <laughs> it's so difficult, it's a difficult topic, I know. No judgments, like you yeah. do you, you're beautiful, you're whatever you are, but like we're talking about standards, right? Mm. And I know what you mean, in the States they like curvy girls. Yes, boom, yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. Bonky, we, bonky. yeah, yeah, we say bonky, bonky. Yeah. But in Japan, it's like a trend, a lot of Japanese men like skinnier girls, yeah. usually. Definitely, she would be popular in Japan. She's please. very tall, she's uh, very tall. That's, a, that's gonna be a little problem, because average of the heights in Japan, the men, Height is like 170. I'm 171, so I'm pretty average. But if she's taller than that, like it might be a little scary to go on a date with her. <laughs> because like if she wears a high heel or something, we gotta be really <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, but she she's definitely gorgeous in Japan too. She has blue eyes and blonde hair, and that's like a very good thing in Japan. Ah uh, yeah, definitely. This is different. Because a lot of people always want it different from you. Yeah. Let's move on to Giulia De Lellis. Yes, She's Giulia De Lellis. Oh, you know her? No, I don't know her. <laughs> oh, oh, she looks. Ooh. 
What do you think? She looks amazing. <laughs> Does she look more Italian to you? Like, is this the image you have of Italian girl? Yeah, I think so. For me, she looks like Italian, like typical Italian for me. Would you say that she's too tan for the Japanese people? Oh, that's a good. So in Japan, mm. a lot of people, especially not men, more like girls, think that if you are paler, if you are yeah. whiter, you are more beautiful. I don't believe that. Japanese standard. Is always like whiter, the more beautiful. So she's tan. I like her skin color. Maybe Japanese girl thinks she's too tan sometimes. Men don't care. I, I, I actually prefer tan skin. She has tattoos. Do you think that could be a problem? Might be a problem for older people, but it's more getting acceptable for Japanese society. Do you have tattoos? No, I don't have any. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, <laughs> what do you think about her? Ooh! <laughs> Wow. This was the best reaction so far. <laughs> Wow! She's fantastic. She's awesome. Yeah. You know what? I wasn't expecting this reaction from you. When I was selecting the pictures, I thought she looks more sexy. Like she definitely has some like strong features, you know, like okay. the jaw. Uh, yeah, yeah. And like I think she has stronger features compared to, for example, Julia Delalis. And because I thought that the Japanese standards is more like kawaii rather uh... than sexy, I thought that you like Julia more than Federica. <laughs> because I hang out with a lot of Westerners, so that my maybe my preference is gonna be a little <laughs> westernized, but she looks amazing. I have another question. What do you think about the fact that sometimes when Japanese want to give you a compliment, they say that you're cute, you're mm. so cute, and not beautiful, but like uh. Italians, when they want to give you a compliment, they're like, oh, you're pretty, you're beautiful. <laughs> For Japanese people, cute is really compliment, like good compliment. Better than beautiful? No, better than beautiful but we don't often say beautiful but sexy for example no hot you know like the equivalent to hot no, like oh she's so hot if you know japanese men see this picture yeah. her picture we would definitely say oh she's kawaii she's cute kawaii. definitely not like sexy not like gorgeous not like beautiful yeah kawaii definitely also i have a lot of questions okay. i feel like in general italian men have so many expectations like you have to be lean but not too much you have to have curves you have to like be toned and go to the gym but don't lose your curves like but i feel like in japan people mainly care about your face oh yeah that's true and that's it it's getting more popular that the girls work out too but still when you consider about like western culture no the girls don't work out as often as you you guys so like having a six pack or having toned legs is not not popular at all. I wouldn't say at all, but not popular. So as long as you're skinny, pretty much. Yeah, in Japan, if you say, oh, you are so skinny, that's kind of compliment. Yeah. That's a compliment. That's why a lot of uh, Japanese girls try to lose weight, not in a good way. Just like, don't eat. Next is gonna be Diletta Leota. Diletta Leota. She's in a good shape. She's beautiful. But if you have... Oh, we should go back to the other girl. Okay. The, who had a blonde too. If you have a blonde, it's kind of like out of the league for us. Because we don't see a lot of blonde girls here. With I am eyes. so proud of my black hair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so proud of it. But as I as I said before, people usually want different things from like you know people. We see her in Japan. I don't think Japanese men try to hit on her because it's a uh, different. <laughs> she's too. Pretty. Yeah, she's too pretty. Uh, yes, she's she different in a good way. But I have a question. Yes. What do Japanese people think about plastic surgery, or what are the most common plastic surgery? Way. You're gonna go in that way. <laughs> so there are a lot of uh, kabajo, mm -hmm. kabakurajo. Mm -hmm. They are all have not all, but like almost all of them have plastic surgery, and they don't hide it. Like eyes or yeah, everything, like nose and jaw lines and everything. Jaw line. Yeah, because oh, this is a good one. So ja in Japan, if you have a smaller face, you have like more beautiful face. Yeah, that's <laughs> why sometimes the Japanese girls do their hair like like this so that the face looks smaller. Yeah. The smaller face you have, the more beautiful you are. So a lot of Japanese girls try to scrape here. Oh my god, that's so here. painful! <laughs> In Japan, sometimes they give me the weirdest compliments. Like, oh, your nose is so tall. <laughs> I mean, my nose is kind of normal in Italy, right? Yeah, yeah. But in Japan, they're like, you have a tall nose. And at first, when I first moved to Japan, I was like, do you have a big nose? Because it's not a good thing usually in Italy when they say, you have a big nose. But no, in Japan, it's a this huge is big. Compliment. Like, big goes like this way. And this is good. Yes. 
So if you want to compliment Japanese girls, I'll give you three tips. So one, say, oh, your eyes are so, so huge. Next one, as you say, like, oh, your nose are so tall. Your nose is so tall. Eh? And third one, your face is so small. These are top three you have to give Japanese girls. <laughs> It's so yeah. different. Your eyes are big. Okay, I get it. Mm. But if you go to Italy and you're like, you have a tall nose and a small, <laughs> and a small face. Small face, yeah. I feel like. Oh, your your face is so small. This is actually a huge compliment for girls. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We sure. sometimes say your face is as small as my knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> like this side, your face is like this side. Okay. Yeah, but this is a huge compliment. But if your face is so small, your legs looks like longer than. Right. Like longer than your. Yeah. So it's good looking. to have long legs. Yes. In Italy, it's good to have long legs. Yeah, in Japan like too. That. Plastic surgery is mainly like eyes, nose, jaw. What about boobs? Uh, some people do, but uh, it's not as uh, popular as in the Western culture. Yeah. Because it's body. So. Yeah, so <laughs> we don't oh, okay. give a. <laughs> ass. Ass is like. No, no interest at all. No interest at all. <laughs> yeah, like the big ones, but <laughs> a lot of Japanese, especially girls, don't care about ass. It's In Italy, men care so much. It's like one of the first things. I still think that if you ask a person, the face is the most important thing. But yeah. What about Belen? Okay, Belen is so pretty. What do you think about her? She's beautiful. <laughs> what do you think about like her mouth? Ah, uh, the thick lips? Yes. Mm, that's an interesting question because we don't have thick lips in Japan. You don't? I feel like you do. I do. I do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> what about teeth? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have the yeah. sharp teeth in your mouth, like people say, oh, your teeth are chewed. Uh, <laughs> I read some girls actually modified their teeth. Right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. She's. She has a lot of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> if she's in Japan, she might have too much muscle. She has really beautiful face. I personally like her appearance, definitely, but in Japan, she might be too, uh, how do you say, muscular. I feel like you've been westernized so much because even her face, I don't know how to say that, but it has a lot of personality, you know what I mean? Yeah, I would say thick taste face. She has thick taste face. What is it? <laughs> so we say like koi kao and lusui kao. Then sometimes like Japanese people prefer thin faces, like thin taste faces, less bumpy. How do I say? Like delicate features. Yeah, oh my god, what, what am I? What yeah, am I? You're, you have a thick taste face. Thick? Yeah, thick. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If you have tonals, like bumpy face, kind of like yeah, like thick. Thin face is like. <laughs> like Japanese Japanese face. I think this has been really interesting. Thank you for um, being here. <laughs> about the Japanese culture. Of course, this Anytime. is like, guys, there is no judgment. We're talking about beauty standards. We're not yes. saying what is beautiful and what's not. That's a different thing. Thank you for watching. All of these links are down below. My house is like there's a party in my house right now, but <laughs> we bring the party. Thank you for watching. All of these links are down there. See you next time. See you next time.